welcome back. How's everybody doing? I pray all is well with you and your family. I'm just stopping by for a moment to let you all know that the Lord wants us to use discernment in this hour. And for those of you who feel like you need to be increased in that area, pray and ask the Lord to increase your discernment because so many false prophets and apostles, leaders have gone out into the world. They are manipulating God's children. Yes, they are manipulating the children of God and God is not pleased with them. What they are doing, they're trying to sway the people's emotions. They're, you know, dealing with their emotions to try and make them feel a certain way. They're out to get gain, family. So he wants us to be alert in that area and do not try to fit in with these people. Do not compromise with what they are doing. Just keep your eyes on the Lord, the author and finisher of your faith. And one thing that I've noticed about these people, they have so much confusion going on. And we know what the word of the Lord tells us, that God is not the author of confusion, but of peace. They do not have peace. So let us be alert, be sober-minded to what is going on. I'm telling you, it is so sad out here. What happened to winning souls? That is my question. Sorry for jumping ship, but that is something that I wanted to know. What happened to winning souls? What happened to trying to help the people? What happened to teaching the people, you know, the true word of God? What happened to all of that? The word says that those who win souls, they are wise. So we need to get back to winning souls. There is so much manipulation going on. Once again, the word of the Lord says, beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirit whether they are of God, because there's so many false prophets that have gone out into the world. So make sure that you all are testing these spirits. Line it up. See if it's lining up with the word of the Lord. I'm telling you, I am seeing a lot going on, and it's not lining up with the word of the Lord. So let us stay in the spirit that we may be able to discern what is happening right in front of us. Amen? Amen. I pray that this message would enlighten someone out there. You all know that I love you with the love of Christ. And I will be back at that appointed time. Bye-bye.